wire path going all the way from the speaker down here. We've still got wire path right here to make it to the board. Now we want to draw our board, so we're going to go to this surface. <clears throat> I know that this is going to be for a profi, and I know that a profi is 0 0.70 inches wide. So I'll start from the midpoint, and I'll do half that, 0 0.35. I'm going to bring that line all the way up, and then hit S and trim, and then get rid of that line. <clears throat> now I can come over here, and I can get rid of this line too. And then I'll come over here and I'll draw the full width of the profi board, which is 0.7. It should come to the other side of the circle. I messed that up somehow. Right here is what I did. I messed that up. Sometimes I go too fast and uh, that needs to be 0.35. That's half of 0.7. Get rid of that. Erase that. Now this 0.7 should be the other side of the circle, right? My computer's catching up. There. That's the width of our board. So I'm going to leave these two little lines up here, but I'm going to get rid of this big one. Now I know the uh, width of the actual circuit board on the Profi is like a 0 0.06, but I like to give myself a little bit extra room so that I can have some wire management and go 0 0.09. I'm going to go 0 0.09 down, straight down. Now I need something for the board to sit on. And for this, through uh, you know some trial and error, I know that 0 0.02 on my printers makes a good shelf for the board, but it doesn't get in the way of my wires. So that 0.02 is what is the shelf for my board. And then I'll take the end of those lines and I'll just bring them straight down. Make sure they're straight. So now I know like my board's gonna sit right up here. So I'm gonna draw a circle. And you can do whatever you want with this circle. I'm probably gonna do something like this. Maybe a little bit bigger, maybe something like that. I'm just eyeballing it right now, right? So now I need to grab all of the stuff that I want to extrude. And you can see what I drew here. And this is where my board's going to be. This is where the wires are going to be. So I want to extrude this. I'll hold down shift. I'll take this and this. I'm going to extrude that. The profi board with the SD card in it and everything, it needs an inch and a half to sit in there properly. So there's my inch and a half right there. Now you can see where the board's going to sit. And a lot of times I like to... Uh, come up here if I can. I'll draw a line. I'll just do a little something like this. So I messed that up again. Sometimes stuff like this will happen. I see what I did. That's a 0.15 or, or 0.115. It needs to be a 0 0.09. Now it's even. So we'll do that one more time. You might see that when you're drawing. It's no big deal. Just make sure you correct it. We went the inch and a half again. Now we'll draw the line. I like to take this material out right here just to give people access to their micro USB slot on their profi. We're going to extrude that piece right there. And I'll just take this and go straight through. And get that out of there. That way when the board is sitting here, people can plug into the micro USB and not have to lift up the board. So that's super helpful. And then I'll go here. I like to make my boards a snap fit, but in case something happens and they're not a snap fit, um, I will draw this anyway. So I drew, drew this circle. I'll bring this to about right here. This is going to be for a piece of art tape, right? So we're going to draw a circle on this again the full diameter of the chassis. I can grab this and extrude it. Now my art tape is a quarter inch thick. So I got to come over here and on the start button and I want to offset from my plane that I'm drawing on a quarter inch because my, my uh, tape is a quarter inch thick and then I want to come over here and extrude to this object. 
just like that. So now I've got this little piece right in here for a piece of art tape to hold the board in if need be, and it's a quarter inch thick right there. So that's perfect. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to draw another circle. I'm going to close this guy off by 0.1 inches, just like that, right? Now I need to measure the part that's going to go inside the saber, um, inside the top half where this chassis actually gets buttoned down into the saber. And that's what holds the chassis to the saber. And that upper part, for me, on the democracy hilt is a uh, 1.02. I'm going to draw a circle here, 1.02. That's what's going in there. And then I'm going to draw a circle here. And I'm all, I want this pretty thick because I want there to be plenty of space for the saber to get, um, or for the chassis to have as much uh, grab into the upper part as possible. So, and I'm just eyeballing it, right? Because I've done this so much. But, uh, and then I'm going to extrude this. There's a fairly large button that goes in this democracy hilt, and I need to make sure that I don't go past where the uh, switch goes into the hilt. But I've got a good. Uh, 0.8 inches or so and we're actually going to go I'm actually going to go one inch and then I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to cut a slit for the for the switch now the switch is going to be 0.64 inches wide basically let's just call it 0.8 to be safe We don't want to do that. It's too much. Let's do a 0.34. That's good. We'll hit enter. And that is the uh, that's the width of the switch. I was just going to give myself a little extra room to play, but that's okay. So we're going to draw this line straight up. We'll come here and draw this straight up so that we can grab this bit of material and come back a little bit come back about that far that's fine and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to uh, I'm going to draw a fillet on it because I don't like to leave these sharp edges if I don't have to I'm just going to play around with it 0.175 looks good but if I did that on one side I'm going to do that on the other side so it matches even though people will never see this part um, just try to keep it clean all right so there's that I need to come back in here and draw a circle about this higher so you don't need too much and then we're going to extrude that right through this wall boom now we've got a wire slot for all of our switches and our neopixel wires to go inside here hit the underside of our board so we're good there our battery terminals are good because we've got our holders there so we're good there our speaker will sit here and our speaker wires will go right through this wire path right here all the way past our battery and right up into our board so we're good there and then uh, one last thing I like to do it doesn't really help anything this too is for aesthetics I want to pick the plane this here's something I need to explain so if you hit s and then you hit you want to draw a rectangle but you haven't hit a surface on your model you'll have these planes that you can choose from they're the yellow boxes I want to draw on this plane right here so I'll highlight that and click right I like to come over here and draw some boxes and I like to make them half inch thick. I like to do three of them. Just like that. Now I'm going to hit the D for dimension. And I want to come in here and I want to lock in these dimensions. So come in here, click, hit enter. That locks the dimensions of these boxes. So now I can come hit this line and this line. And I just know from doing this so much, this should be point four this should be 0.4 and then between here and here should be 0.35 and that makes everything even so that, that's evenly spaced in that battery cradle so holding shift i'll grab this one this one and this one and hit q for extrude i want to be offset about an inch and that inch means I'm now I'm above the model. So now I can take this arrow and I can start coming down. And now I'm actually cutting into my model. You can see that there. I'm going to cut into it about 
this far and hit enter. Now what I've done there, I've just created these little aesthetic pieces. I need to grab all of these corners and do the same thing that we did in the speaker pod. I'll rotate it. Hold down shift. Now remember these gaps are half an inch thick. So when we go to throw a fillet on it, we want 0.25. And that's what we did there. Just like that. Now on all my sabers, I like to put my name. So I'm going to hit S and type text and it will come up. And again, I'm going to hit the plane I want to do my text in. And I'll come over here. I want my text about that big. I'll type solo sabers first. But then I'll come over here and I'll change my font to the Arabesh font that I've got, right? Now it's an Arabesh, but it's way too big. So I'll just play with this number a little bit. That looks good. I'll make it bold. Hit OK. Rotate this a little bit so that I can grab these words. Click on them and hit Q for extrude. And then this time, the start point will be the actual object. It will be this object. And my arrow is facing this way, so I'm going to go a negative 0 0.02. So I can cut into the chassis material. Just like that. Now it says Solo Savers and Arabesh. Get the battery compartment looking good. That's basically the chassis right there. And uh, I might throw a little bit of something extra on there. I'll probably throw a little bit of uh, some kind of ode to Levi over here since it's his saber. Um, but that is the mechanics of the chassis and, and how I like to draw them. And no matter what they are, um, that's pretty much the same thing I do in Fusion. So I'm going to come over here and I'll hit the save button. And I want to save this as a... Uh, Democracy Profi and hit save. And there we go. I have done that chassis. And if I hit open, you can, and I cycle through all these, you can kind of see how many times I've done this. These are all chassis that I've modeled up and saved over time. Just like that. But anyway, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I don't usually do this, but uh, hopefully you guys with Fusion 360 and getting into chassis designing, um, hopefully you can uh, pull some knowledge out of this. Thanks.